Like other Israelis, I heard the sirens at home at 6.30 a.m. I put my wife and children in the shelter. I realized that if I was hearing sirens at my home in Beersheba, chances were high. There were also sirens in Sderot. Mati Safarti drove through the heavy rocket barrage, trying to reach the police station as fast as possible. While I was on my way to the police station, I saw a terrorist in front of me. He was in uniform and carrying an AK-47. He shot at me five times. At this point, I realized it was an exceptional situation. Matty met several of the placemen from his team, assessed the situation, and got ready for the battle. I took an assault rifle. I was not armed at all. I had just returned from my vacation. Even my gun was in the office with all my other stuff. So I took an automatic weapon, checked the magazine, did two shots to check if the gun was working, three more magazines I just tucked into my shirt as I had no other place to put it and continued on my way to the station. On the road leading to the police station, we neutralized approximately four terrorists. One of them, after we neutralized him, fell and tried to get at his weapon. So I shot again in the direction of the head, eliminated. At this point, a sniper who was standing on the roof shot me in the chest. I fell backwards and got another bullet in the leg. His fellow policemen grabbed Matty and hid him behind a migunit, a concrete protective barrier. I called my wife and told her that I was injured in the chest and in the leg. I told her that I love her and I love our children and I'm not willing to die. The battle at Sterot police station lasted for around 20 hours. The station lost 10 of its officers, both men and women. But if not for the heroism of the unit, the whole city of Sterot could have suffered heavier losses. At least 40 terrorists came here, whose goal was to take control of the police station, to kill all the policemen, and after that to move on to slaughtering civilians in Sterot. And Sterot is only one example. The terrorists planned the same thing for Ofakim, Netivot, Ashkelon, Ashdod. Matty fought not only for the city of Sterot, but also for his own life. He bled for several hours before the police were able to evacuate him. But on the way, they again came under fire. Matty was moved to a private car, and only then was he able to get to an ambulance. Matty survived, but he was hospitalized for weeks and is still receiving treatment. Nevertheless, he couldn't stay home on the day of the inauguration. One of the reasons why it was so important for me to come and to meet my team is that we're very strong and we're always keeping our heads up. People who understand battle tactics know that police should join only in the third circle. But my policemen fought in the first circle. The inauguration of the station is a historic day for the policemen and for the whole city of Sterot. Inaugurating the police station in Sterot is a sign of pride for the Israeli police and its strength and its ability. On the one hand, to shut down the station and destroy it, with the dozens of terrorists hiding inside, and on the other hand, to decide and to work so that within four days we would build a new one that could help civilians to receive their complaints, to give a sense of security to the residents. Not all the residents of Sterot have left, and they need this sense of security. And this is what we will do here at the Sterot police station. Though today policemen from Sterot station stay strong and try to smile, their thoughts are with the friends that they lost. To alleviate their grief, at least for one night, the Gad Dairy Company joined the event with their special project called Secret Dinner. The project was created seven years ago and lets people buy a ticket to the dinner without knowing in advance where they'll be going or what they'll eat. Since the start of the war, the project has changed gears and these days organizes surprise dinners for security forces and medical teams. When we thought about the project in wartime, the first thought we had was about the policemen from the steroid station. They survived a tragedy. Only now have they finished the mourning period for their friends. We owe them this. After the whole station was destroyed, we're raising a new police station together with them. This time, the dinner was cooked by renowned Israeli chef Eyal Shani, who was recently awarded a Michelin star. Never in my life have I been so proud to belong to this people as I am now. This is the most amazing people. We see it in our warriors, in our parents. 
We have become one body, each one a cell that contributes to the life of our country. I believe we are here today, right now, in large part, thanks to you. Indeed, being united, supporting one another, and the ability to start from scratch, even in the darkest of days, is one of Israel's biggest strengths.